Yo, Inconsistent YouTuber here. Hope you're all doing well today. It has been a long time. I know I'll explain at the end of the intro, but today we're going to be covering a weapon that's been in the game for quite some time, but might become a meta weapon in the Crucible with our 3.0 right around the corner. And the weapon is a sudden death. This has been in the game for quite some time now. It is found in the Prophecy Dungeon. Well, it was in the game back in the old Trials of the Nine Year One days, but this version is from the Prophecy Dungeon. And if you're asking why, why might this become meta in Arc 3.0? Well, let me show you. Elemental Capacitor. We should all be familiar with this perk. This shotgun is an aggressive frame, so obviously you can't get quick track like you could back in the day. And it has a nice wide variety of perks. So for me, I've got Barrel Shroud, Light Mag, Surplus, Elemental Capacitor, and Range Masterwork. I tried this is full choke but to be completely honest barrel shroud felt way more consistent and gives you more stability and handling what you need on this weapon so obviously this not having quick draw with elemental capacitor and arc 3.0 around the corner if you're using an arc subclass it increases the handling on this so essentially it's very similar to having quick draw but this has been in the game for quite some time like i mentioned and a lot of people do use this shock because it is really good but for those of you that may not know about this or may have used it but haven't done so already Definitely pick one of these if you don't have one because Arc 3.0, everyone's going to be running Arc, everyone's going to be trying the new Arc subclasses, and from what we've seen so far, it's going to be pretty cool. So with this having handling on Elemental Capacitor, it might be a weapon you want to pick up. We're pairing up to with the Ostringer. I'm trying to get this leveled up. I haven't been on it all, so I'm trying to get the levels for that. The Colony Grenade Launcher, the same arms I typically use, and of course, the Arc Strider. Now, yes, I apologize for having videos up for the past couple weeks. I've been super busy with life, and I was streaming Destiny the other week, and my PC literally died. My hard drive, for some reason, got corrupted, and I had to reset everything. I lost all my footage and everything. I had a video on Horror's Lease, but that's now down the drain, so I apologize. But hopefully, we have some consistent content upcoming. I'm still busy with some things, but I'll try my best to get some videos out. That's why you should check out the Twitch, because I'm more active on there. All oh, being said, Ryan for one of these weapons. Let's get into the footage. You know, but we'll play. We'll play Ascat. We'll play Ascat. We're using a shotgun. We'll play it. You know, I'll suffer. Oh, let's go. Oh, let's go. With the flick of the wrist. I'm playing Twilight Gap like a real Twilight Gap player, bro. Oh, got back in there. Oh! I hear a fusion rifle charging right behind me, bro. I gotta go! Holy moly! Wow. Goodness me. What is happening? What a start to a game. Ah. Uh, uh. I don't have any shotgun ammo. I'm dead here. I mean, maybe, maybe not. Never mind. His first shotgun shot, or er, first melee whiffed. Oh, melee whiffed. Oh, yeah, let's go. Oh, that was scary. I saved my teammate there, too. Damn. They're playing like, re like really hard on their side of the map right now. It's kind of scary. Ah, freaking fusion rifles, man. The people that guy's using it right there. That's a weapon I've actually been kind of wanting to use recently. The Forerunner. It's been a minute since I used that thing. Double kill. I gotta kill out with the shotguns. Are you kidding me? Let's go. I didn't realize there were two people there, bro. He must have been uh, crouching. He is. You. You. Ooh. No, I hit back at the last one. Oh, no. This game. How is that not a one chat? What is that? Bro, I shot him in the chest point blank range. Am I fucking going up against the damn Hulk, man? What is this? What is happening? Goodness. Okay, dude. Okay. Okay, no, this is better than fucking Tom Verdict. Oi, oi, oi.
Oh no! Oh, the heavy ammo. Whew. There is in fact a Spectral Blades that is running rampant somewhere. I don't know how that did not one shot, I'll be honest. Should have. No. I don't. Oh! Let's go, baby! Off me! We're, we're actually slain right now, man. I'm actually, like... Uh oh. Oh my god. We are demolishing. We are actually playing a pretty solid game right now on Twilight Gap. Which... You may have never thought I'd ever say in my life. Wait, I didn't grab it. Hello? He's invis. He probably might tank this. Or in our accuracy, so I'm just gonna fucking fuck me. Here we go. Alright, well, we popped off that game, I feel. We lost, unfortunately. But I feel like we popped off there. I really feel like we did. We had. 31, 3.88. Considering I don't play Twilight Gap ever, was shocking. I got a friend. I got a friend question from the Titan. You know, it's already. I don't want to say viable. It's already pretty viable shotgun. It's pretty good. Well, shotguns are in a bad spot as we know right now. But I think feel like it's be worth picking up if you don't have one already, just because it can get elemental capacitor. It is an aggressive frame, so it hits pretty hard, and the perk pools on it are really good. Oh, let's go! Load it up. Where the hell did you come from? What teammates? You're following me? Got you too? That's just eight people. That's what we're here for. Let's go. Heavy ammo's up. We're about to be. Come on. Let's go. More people? Damn. The flick of the wrist. Yeah, I don't know. That should have killed. We got cheesed. We got cheesed. Triple cheddar. Oh my God, let's go. Let's go. And that looks at me. I was gonna, I was gonna push and try to shotgun, but I was like, nah. We'll do that now. Nice little flank. Let's get it. Grab that too. Yes, sir. Do not have the range for that, so we're gonna hold off. I think. Yes. No. Maybe. Oh, yes, they are. Oh. No peek, please. Thank you. Teammate, excuse me, excuse me, come through. Now we got our super. Get fire that. Push this, shock on that. Push that, shock on that. Let's go! We don't have any shock on ammo anymore, though. Gotta go! That, that was really weird. Especially that second one. I'm dead. It ate my jump. This game sucks. No one's there. I almost lost that because he had me outranged big time. Don't be lost. Enemy has advantage. I don't have a nade. Actually, I do now. I got someone else too for 103. Gotcha, buddy. Got you too. We'll grab this special. Ah, damn it. Good trade. Well then, that's the ending. 
they are sitting in the back back. Well, we got one final kill. <laughs> well, we actually played a really good game in the game, I think. Considering a lot of people like to play back on this map, this team played really aggressive, which really helped us. Um, we had 27, 2.7. We really, the end of that game really slowed down. Really slowed down. Unfortunately, we had third place. Again, not amazing game by any means. Anyway, we had some great plays that game. The end of that game really slowed down. We definitely could have broke 30. But like I mentioned in the last one, this shotgun's definitely worth picking up for our 3.0. Like, it's a good shotgun. Good. It feels pretty reliable. Um, obviously, shotguns current state aren't amazing, but felt pretty reliable. It feels really snappy. And uh, with everyone most likely going to be a lot more people running arc subclasses, this having elemental capacitor on it is perfect if you like the shotgun, because you're going to have that nice snappy handling and an aggressive frame, so hard hitting. Yeah. I like this shotgun. This is a fun time. Fun time.